Honestly guys, I always loved praying mantises. Just the way they look at you and the way they hunt, how they kill their prey, it's just so brutal. Honestly, it's fascinating to watch. Around 2019, it's when I honestly decided to just go for it and just do a plenty of research, get into my mantises, look at all the different species, and finally, on the 20th of July, 2019, I got my first mantis. An Indian flower mantis male who I named Mooncake. <laughs> I honestly named him Mooncake because of the programme I was watching at the time, and um, it's called Final Space. Anyway, when I did get Mooncake, I didn't even realise until I bought him for me and Gecko that he was already an adult, so I only had him a few months, but honestly it was a really enjoyable couple of months learning from him and feeding him. Sadly on the 12th of September 2019, Mooncake passed away. Uh, he died of old age, guys. I can honestly say, if anything, guys, if you're in the United Kingdom, don't buy from places like, you know, Pets at Home and Reptile places and that. If you're wanting to get your first mantis, I highly recommend buying them from breeders and stuff. They're all over Facebook and those Facebook groups, so if you're interested in getting a praying mantis, then I definitely highly recommend you get them off places like Mantis Manor and Unseen Universe. I'll put the links to their websites in the description. So on August 18th, 2019, I decided to get my second mantis. Mooncake was still alive at this point. It was an orchid mantis, so if you're new to mantis keeping, I don't really recommend getting it as a first species. I would honestly wait until you're, you've got a little more experience and humidity levels. In general, learned how to keep a mantis and what kind of enclosures they need and you know and stuff like that. I did actually manage to get Ashwood into adulthood. She was a beautiful mantis. I still have plenty of photographs of her. I do wish I took more mooncake, sadly, but I didn't. Don't know if it was because I was just lazy or just because I was so shocked at how beautiful mantises were in general. After Astrid reached adulthood, just after a few molts, I got an L4 I think. Uh, usually what I do with all my mantises, I just hate keeping flies, you know, keeping them in the fridge and stuff. I just think it's more complicated for me anyway. I just keep like wax worms, locusts and stuff to feed them, like tiny locusts, tiny deweas, you know, stuff like that. And obviously when the wax worms pupate into the moths, it's really good to feed them as well. Astrid was a really outgoing, lovely mantis. I'll never forget her. Finally, on October 5th, 2019, Astrid reached adulthood. Honestly, guys, she it was a sight to behold. She only lived about two weeks after her final molt, and it was a leg infection she died of. I know you can prevent this by cutting her legs and stuff off, but I, I just thought it was cruel at the time, and I just didn't feel confident in doing it. Uh, a lot of people on the Mantis pages were telling me I should have just done it, and I really do regret not doing it. I mean, I know, I know she would have lost a leg, but she would have survived still, but I just didn't feel confident in doing it. The other reason that I won't forget Astrid is because orchids are, like, my favourite species. As soon as I found out about them, and as soon as I seen them, I just, wow, I was blown away, and I, I don't think I've ever seen a Mantis species that I've loved more even though there's crazy ones out there like crazy exotic species and stuff. So when I kept my first few mantises guys I didn't actually keep them in substrate, little deli cups I had them in but then I did realise that well maybe I should put them in something better so obviously I saved money up for the job I had and I bought you know Exoterra's the kind of best gear you can get. I know there's other companies out there and people will argue that there's better ones and stuff but for me Exoterra worked so I bought one Exoterra in that and then obviously I got the little one and I got the bigger one but anyway I'm getting ahead of myself. When I got the Exoterra's I didn't even put substrate in them, I just put, I just threw in sticks, made them look all nice and then put moss at the bottom, this was obviously before I started my channel so you guys would never have seen any of that, obviously after a, a while I realised right, you know, I'm going to need to do it properly like the way I would do it in my job, you know, the stones, the tram and then the substrate on top, so it's a proper drainage layer and ever since then I've put springtails and isopods and it's just thrived, it just looks way more beautiful and attractive to look at and the amount of comments you guys have gave me on these mantis pages can't appreciate it enough because people don't realise that it does take a long time to set this stuff up. So Astrid finally died in October the 19th, 2019, but while I did still have her, I also got a big girl, well, the first mantis that was known as a big girl, which was Helga. 
giant Asian mantis. It was the 1st of October 2019 that I got Helga. Also on September the 18th 2019, I also got a lot of people's favourite one on the channel, Destiny, which was a ghost mantis female. I also got a free gift from Mitch with the ghost mantis female, who we know as Zero, male ghost mantis. All three of them are from Unseen Universe. So obviously all these sellers I use only deliver to the UK and Europe. I'm not so sure about now since we've, we've left Europe, so you would need to actually ask them about that. So while keeping Destiny Zero and Helga, it's basically when I bought the big terrarium, as you now see in the channel, Helga was the first to use it. But since I got the Ghost Mantises first, I'll speak about them first. Now we all know they're pretty much the most popular species in the hobby, along with orchids. And two, well they're pretty much awesome dancers. <laughs> These two mantises may not move around that much, but when they do, it really is a sight to behold. It's just awesome to watch them dance about and act really crazy and no really so much bolt, because when they're babies they're really fast, so just watch out for that. And that pretty much goes for any mantis species. But the way they mimic the wind by dancing is pretty goddamn funny. Guys, it was also at this time that I stopped using the crickets to feed my mantises, and I, uh, I can understand there's a lot of people saying that, yeah, it's fine to use them, or no, it's not fine, but I'm just not going to get into that. I mean, I kept my crickets clean and I never had any problems. It might even be depending on, you know, whatever you're feeding your crickets, but as I said, I'm not going to get into it. I just kept feeding my mantises them anyway. The main reason I stopped using them was just that they were a little skate artists. Seriously, they were like ants. I felt like I was in Ants Canada, you know, so, and I didn't understand how they were escaping. They were enclosed, they were still getting enough air, and I was keeping stuff over them to keep them in, and they were, somehow there was just ones I managed to appear in places. So, I hated using them. I still wouldn't go back to using them, and that's pretty much how I stopped to using crickets. So, basically, anyway, now I had three mantises a giant Asian and two ghost mantises. Sadly, you know, not long after being an adult which I did actually manage to get Zero to adulthood. He did die a couple of months later, which was in March the 12th, 2020. So after he died in March, it was a good while for Destiny, because on the other hand, she actually did live a long time. She actually lived from September 2019, which was when I had her, right up until pretty much recently actually, because if you've seen one of my videos, you'll know she passed away finally on the 12th of January 2021. There is a video I've done on the channel where she was dead, so if you guys want to go check out that, then you know, feel free as I talk about it in more detail and stuff, so I'll put it in the description guys if you want to see that as well. But yeah, ghosts were indeed a delight to keep. I understand why they're a lot of people's favourite and they are really, really cool looking. Just like the Devil's Flower and just like, as, I, as we're talking about right now, ghost mantises, they honestly do remind me of the alien <laughs> from the movie Alien, Xenomorph, you know, the Xenomorph Queen or something. That's why I love them, they just look so cool and sinister looking. <laughs> Helga on the other hand, she was the cutest little thing ever. Honestly, I'm not going to lie, see when she was a little baby when I had her and, you know, I'll show you pictures and that here, I'd see just the big massive black dots in her eyes and the way she looked at you, she was honestly just adorable. But it's when she became an adult, so intimidating. Like seriously, she was huge, I was, uh, sometimes I didn't even want to hold her, she was just that intimidating. But when I did do my research, I found that you actually can hold them and stuff. They're actually really hardy species and even though I got used to her, she was she still was intimidating because of her size and you know how deadly they are to other insects, so but she was a really beautiful mantis to keep and you know all the different kind of colour of green she had in between her abdomen and her wings and you know the different shades, she was honestly a stunning mantis. Sadly she never did fly, but from my experience, every female I've kept they just don't fly. <laughs> They'd be lucky if they, they do it to jump from one hand to the other, but I've never seen them properly fly like the males do. On the 18th of December 2020, a couple of days before Christmas, you know, a big beautiful girl died, sadly, and I really did want her to live past Christmas time. I'll never forget her, she was the first big giant Asian mantis, or big mantis in general, I should say, sorry, that I ever had, and I'll never forget her. So we're pretty much now going to talk about Nova, Bella and uh, the unsexed one that I had called Coco. It was the 14th of March 2020 that I got Bella, a budwing mantis who I really did love a lot. I mean, she was just, this girl had sass. <laughs> she was also the first mantis that I ever kept that actually gave me a threat display to me, which was terrifying but also awesome at the same time. Coco, who is an African flower mantis, who was sadly too young to ID, hence the gender neutral-ish name. <laughs> really, I just found it cute. Um, I got him or her on the 14th, the same month as a free gift with Bella. I also got another female orchid at this time named Nova on the 19th of March. 
so Bella as stated was honestly crazy like this girl was really fun to hold and interact with it was also around this time I created this channel that you're watching so weirdly Nova and Coco died in the same day which was June the 12th 2020 which I do suspect was due to them being near my window which is a big no-no due to the cold air coming into your room which of course is bad for mantises and they were in small deadly cups and they didn't have heat lamps but the room did have a nice temperature but as I said guys you learn from your mistakes and I learned it the hard way so they did pass away the two of them on the same day it possibly could have been you know from one of the locusts I gave one of them or maybe I just gave two of them a bad locust and I didn't know but how are you really supposed to know that you know if you're looking after your locusts and keeping them clean and stuff but as I said guys you do learn from your mistakes which is why I think that it was my window that caused it you know the air coming in the cold air I just refuse to keep mantises in deli cups now like I do not keep them in deli cups that's why I keep them in you know luxury if you want to call it luxury like you know you would a crested gecko or anything else I just keep them in exoterras with heat lamps and you know that's why Coraline right now has the additional heat six months later sadly Bella did pass away also of old age and the reason I never spoke about Nova and Coco's experience much guys sadly is because I didn't actually keep them long enough to really talk about them it wasn't even me that found out Bella died first it was actually my dad and it was him that told me and I was pretty devastated because she was a really nice mantis you know it's the same with Helga when she died I was honestly devastated because people say they're only insects and stuff but it's once you keep them and you raise them and stuff you realise that they're not just you know they're not just these things that you know people would just go that's disgusting and you know squash it if it was in their house they're living things they're breeding things and you feel like you are actually bonding with them you know and it's it is a great experience keeping them so honestly guys if you've not seen my video about receiving four wonderful species from Mantis Manor he gave me two for free and I bought two firstly I got them on the same day secondly it was an awesome experience keeping them while it lasted if you guys have been following this channel the whole time you'll know that it was a difficult time because pretty much they all died one by one I got them all on the 21st of January 2021 from as I said Mantis Manor Link below guys if you're interested, I do highly recommend buying from them. The first one I don't really need to detail for you guys but it was a spiny flower mantis female and she went missing in the terrarium and I could not find her body anywhere. I did my research and as I stated in that video I do think it was due to the humidity from all the moss that I put in it. So I think that's why that girl sadly passed away. So the second mantis that passed away actually got pretty much murdered um, by its prey. It was the cat mantis, I don't know if it was a male or female. He or she died because, as I said, it was eaten by the locust and it was honestly really sad seeing it because even my dad thought that species was really beautiful. You know, just like, just twig mantis kind of species, you know, cat mantises are really nice but they grow pretty massive so I even was worried about where I would put him or her after they got older. But yeah, I really was devastated about that mantis dying too because even though I, I didn't know what I was going to do, I would have figured out something and... It would have been really awesome seeing it growing up and being older and obviously you guys in the channel and obviously the groups would help me out, you know, to find out what sex it is. But sadly that one passed away as well because it got eaten. I always keep an eye on my mantises usually when I give them their feeders but sadly the, the one time I just wasn't looking and ah, poor mantis just let its guard down just like I did and sadly the locust ate it. So the last two I didn't do a video on, the bordered mantis and the Peruvian dead leaf mantis. As I was honestly, guys, I was honestly just too annoyed about it. Uh, already losing two. Firstly, they were both healthy and well fed and watered. Both their humidity levels were good. And the living space was more than enough, for their, especially their current size. How these two died is honestly MD's guess. Although I suspect it's maybe just due to bad luck or a bad locust or something, maybe. Not exactly blaming Matt's manner, it's not his fault, you know. Once he sells them and he knows they're in good health, it's my responsibility, you know. So I honestly think that maybe the bother girl died due to a bad molt maybe because just the way I found her it looked as if she'd started molting or as I said it could have just been a bad locust I'm honestly not sure Peruvian dead leaf mantis boy I honestly can't tell you how he died either guys I just woke up one day and he was just lying dead I've no idea how he died and yeah he actually was a guy I can't remember if I mentioned that in another video or not but um, it was sold to me as a female, found out it was a male. That honestly ain't man, man's fault because it is, sometimes it is hard to sex them, you know. But I just used my phone, zoomed in, found out. As I stated, it wasn't his fault, but I was still happy enough with him. Cute little mantis, actually. 
which is a shame because he was really nice, I was looking forward to seeing him become an adult, but how he died, I honestly don't know either. The 20th of February is when the Bordford girl died, and the 26th of February is when we, little Ivan died, the proving dead leaf mantis. So you may be wondering why I'm speaking about Coraline, considering I got Coraline before those first four deceased species that we were speaking about before. Why am I talking about her and Alita now? Well, I'm answer that. It's pretty simple. She's still alive. And so is Alita, our second bothered Mantis girl. I did actually get Alita not long after the first one died, and Mantis Manor was really nice enough to keep, to pretty much keep my channel going. <laughs> to actually just give me one for nothing and either cover shipping, so big shout out to you there, mate. Thanks very much. Coraline I got on the 12th of November 2020. Now honestly I don't even know if I should tell you guys the experience with Coraline because you follow this channel so you'll know the experience with her but she's honestly an absolutely amazing species to keep. So keeping Coraline has been a blast. The only thing I'll really say about Alita is this. She's beautiful from her recent molt. <laughs> she's went from like green to a beautiful yellowy green kind of colour. And I love how fast and jumpy she is. So overall guys, the question is, should you get a mantis in 2021? Aye. Honestly, you should. You absolutely should if you can. You can buy them anywhere online from mantis breeders that are trusted. A good way to find a breeder, as I said previously, is to join mantis groups and ask around for recommendations. Um, personally, I use Mantis Manor. They're polite, helpful, very well organised. And they give you these awesome little cards that you can track their moats and stuff write their age and write their name, their gender. It's basically their little birth certificate is what I like to call them. Whatever you can find available, just go for it. But I do obviously recommend, you know, pick a species that's easy to keep if you're just new to it. Overall guys, don't be afraid to try out being a mantis keeper. As I said, there's so many hundreds of species to choose from. Thousands, but it's a no-brainer <laughs> if you're into insects or just wanting something new to try. From all the species you can find, it's just awesome, so just go give it a go. Which is pretty much what I did with my Devil's Floor Mantis, I just thought, hell with it, I'm going to go with it because it looks like an awesome species to keep and it's gave me more experience to possibly even keep more in the future. Mistakes obviously were made for me when keeping Mantises and they will for you too, but if you do enough research there's still a chance you'll make them honestly live for a long time. <laughs> but like people say, it's learning on the job on it, so it just makes you more experienced actually keeping the mantises rather than just reading from a few care guides but of course still researching the species you're interested in getting is always good to help with this information it's good it's, it's obviously good to get experience guys from reading stuff and that but personally i feel like i've learned more from actually keeping the mantises than actually reading a lot of the stuff but of course still do your research depending on what species you're going to get because it's always good to have that information in your mind whenever you're doing something so definitely still do your research go for it and who knows guys in the future this channel may even start keeping things beyond praying mantises so anyway guys this video as i'm sure you can see from the title is basically just take a little dive into my personal history of the different mantises I've kept and just my journey so far with you guys and myself keeping mantises. If you're looking to start out or just started and you know you've just got your first mantis and you're currently looking for more advice, honestly don't be afraid to Facebook the Caradonian Lair or Instagram me or whatever I know, I'll be happy enough to pass it on to other people from my experience, what I've learned. Also guys, if you're looking for more information on mantises in general. There is a lot of videos on my channel now so sharing and stuff would be appreciated and if you're brand new and if you learn something also subscribing would be really appreciated too. Whether you start keeping mantises or not or if you're just interested in watching this channel which thanks, <laughs> really appreciate that. So if you're on this video for mantis advice guys or you just want to start your own mantis collection, honestly one thing's for sure, I'll be saying thanks for watching and subscribe and welcome to the Caledonian Lair family. So guys, just before I seriously do end this video, um, this is just a quick thing I'm going to say. This video and pretty much this whole channel wouldn't even be possible due to the generosity of Mantis Manor. As I said in, earlier on, just gave me mantises to help me out with this channel. He is a really good guy that way, so honestly go show him some love. It also wouldn't be possible due to all you guys from the mantis pages, so I just want to say a huge, huge thanks for getting us to over 330 subscribers. I never thought that would even be possible. I know I say this all the time, but I'm always going to say it because I really do appreciate it guys, and it's just amazing going from no subscribers to this many in such a short period of time. So as I said before, it's 
been an amazing journey and it wouldn't be possible without all you guys. I'll leave my Facebook, my Instagram, my Patreon there. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.